think we just had a really bad go with respect to encounters on the way here. Maybe we really taught a lesson, I guess. But on the bright side, we're here, so we might as well give it a whirl, see what we can find. See if we can keep track of this place. We do have a couple of hamburgers and the rest of Noah's MP, but we gotta watch, because we want to be able to use exit if we need to. Found more flashlights. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, the evil deads are things that we're used to and can easily vanquish. I will open it, thank you. Eight and see it is. Okay, we missed a hallway here. I'm just gonna run back and take a look in there too. Cause we never know what's gonna be in there. It might be a dead end, it might go somewhere else. These places get quite confusing quickly. I just need to pay attention to where I'm going, so hopefully I can make some sense of where we are. So many flashlights! This is not a dead end at all. This actually just goes to another hallway. How confusing. Are you a dead end? Of course not. Why would you be a dead end? Where are we? Okay, so maybe this was just a big circle. It would seem that way. This is a dead end. So we got another flashlight. At least we're making lots of cash. We can sell those. For ten dollars a piece. Better than nothing, I guess. I shouldn't complain. What is there? A flashlight inside? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we'll head back this way. Because there's definitely going to be a hallway that we haven't checked yet. So I think going right brings us to the rest of the hallway where we just were. So we'll turn around after we murder this vampire who is illuminated in our magic lamp light right now. Poor flashlight. Thank god we have a huge inventory in this game. Okay, ghouls I am afraid of right now. We don't want to risk fighting ghouls for the moment. So we turned left last time. Let's go right instead. Okay, that doesn't seem to go too far. This is a dead end. Okay, so I think we've just explored a big square. So what we can do is just head this way and see if we reconnect with that initial hallway that we were in when we first entered the dungeon. And maybe we'll be able to try a different panel. Because I think we're done with the area that we just searched. Oh, this is a dead end. Uh oh. Okay, so we won't go through there. Turn this way instead. More vampires. Gosh, this place is just crawling with them. Be like a vampire infection down here. I like how werebats and vampires are the same thing. Like within the same family. They have that same nice face, that same set of rake feet. I love their little rake feet. So many flashlights! We can make a flashlight necklace. Alright, I think this was the initial hallway. Maybe I might be mistaken, but it seems like we're on the right track here. Treasure chest. What's in here? It exploded. Isn't that polite? Okay, we are hurting pretty bad. I'm gonna use some of this Alice magic. Because why not? She's got enough MP, so we might as well spread it around a bit. Poor Noah. Okay. We'll also save here too, because we
we just healed up, so we might as well save while we're ahead. Rather than when we're hurting pretty bad. Okay. So that brought us to that dead end there. Hmm. I guess we can just head back where we came from and see if there's another hallway to try. Gosh, these ghouls are gross. Ugh, they're so disgusting. I hate when they drop their jaws like that. It look like they're drooling on you and then that's how they get you. Ugh. They look like something out of a real horror movie. The animators here really went over and above with the nasty factor as far as I'm concerned. It's super gross. Alright. Try not to fight too many more ghouls because they give me the super willies. But these vampires will take them in a heartbeat. Yeah, see those little rake feet? They're so cute. They look like those rakes that uh, Sideshow Bob steps on and smashes himself in the face with. This guy doesn't look like he wants to be friends at all. So many flashlights. Okay. So that was the hallway that we passed. Is this a set it down? It's up. So that must leave. So there must be another way. Because I think we want to continue in the downward direction here. That's just my general impression based on my understanding of life and things. Okay. Making lots of money. Okay, let's try going back down this way. I think we skipped this first turn last time, did we not? So let's try turning right... Or did we go that way? Oh. I can never remember. I think we might have went this way. Oh, hell no. I'm not fighting that many skeletons. Are you crazy, you game? I think the game is crazy. I think it assumes that we are invincible. I think it likes to prey on my insecurities of dying by skeleton in the middle of a cave. At least if we fight vampires, they're a little bit predictable. But those skeletons are just monstrosities. Okay. I think this is the way that we did go last time, right? Yeah, it is. So let's go back and go straight instead. Don't know if it loops to the same place. But we'll find out. Stop that. Stop hurting my people. Oh good. Meow learned a spell. Too bad we have no MP. For poor Meow. Okay, let's try this way instead. Go left for fun. This seems promising. Loaded there for a moment. But we didn't. We do have three hamburgers, I think, and a cola that we can consume. You can see I'm just terribly worried about my HP levels at the moment. Okay. I was brave and went up to the wall and anticipated falling and I didn't, so that's good. So back where we came from here, and then we'll just go straight through, and remember we turned left to get here, so we'll go straight and see where that takes us. Hopefully to a set of steps. That'll bring us down to the next floor. Oh, hey, skeletons. I love the little details on these skeletons, like their rage faces. Like they're looking up at you with the evilest eyes. They're so cool. I love the sprites in this game. Cannot complain. Very well done. Let's see where this goes. Okay, this brings us back outside. 
at least we didn't waste, like, a flashlight or something. <laughs> In this case, we have so many flashlights, why would we even consider them a waste anymore? Okay, so those stairs brought us back outside, so we're back at the beginning again. So let's see if we can find a proper other set of stairs that's supposed to bring us somewhere else. I think I'm remembering correctly now. I think this is like a, a passageway to a new area, so we're looking for another set of stairs that go up, which we very well may have already run into and then just accidentally thought that they were the ones that go back outside. But, let's try again. So that was where we came in. I'm gonna try to run away from these skeletons, because I don't want to fight them. They suck. So we go this way yet? Ooh, this is promising. Hey, get out of my way, buddy. I'm almost out, I think. More flashlights. Upstairs. Awesome! Okay, this looks like a new spot. Where the hell are we? This is a dead end. What's over here? I hope nothing too horrifying. Oh, just more evil deads. Ah, they're, they're scary in their own right. Good old no hearts from uh, Care Bears. That's what they remind me of. That guy was a super scary guy. Well, hey, we made it out, so that's awesome. I gotta save after we get out of this fight, too, just in case we run into, like, you know, some kind of golem or, you know, some giant thing that smashes us into the ground. Who knows? My paranoia is high with these RPGs. You can't be too careful or too paranoid about that sort of thing getting you. Because it will. They'll smoke you so hard in these games, it's not even funny. And call me a skeptic, but... I've experienced it. Oh, trust me. I've played Miracle Warriors. I know how it feels. Um... Okay, so... What? Giant flies. Is this a dead end? It can't be. I don't think it is. Oh, I can't even look around, man. More evil deads. Okay. Fight you guys. This can't be a dead end. I must have missed something right there. Maybe I can get around that rock wall. Oh, good for Odin. What have we got here? 24 mesitas. Well, we definitely can't go anywhere in this direction. So hopefully we can go around? Oh yeah, look at that. We totally can. We can go fight some sand creatures. Shellfish. Ew. <laughs> Good old eye juice. So funny. My goodness. These guys are pretty tough. I like their little eyeballs. They look like terrible shrimp. If you ever saw these guys on your plate, you'd probably just send them back. I guess they are a shellfish, so probably very resemblant to those types of things. Oh, we're gonna have shellfish fest. I can sense it. Oh good. I'm glad that Odin is better at dodging these days. I'm so proud of him. He's finally not just a big sack of crap that we're dragging along with us. Yeah, he's by far the weaneriest character that we have. Even though our dying brother was like, Find the man Odin, he will help you. And now that I've found him, I want to give him back. 
nowhere near as useless as Edward in Final Fantasy IV, I guess. It's another story for another day. You gotta give it to these programmers, though. Like, this background looks awesome. You got the moving wave, you got the sky texture, the clouds. It's great. It really makes you feel like you're at the ocean. Holy jeez. I don't want to fight these guys every five seconds. By their color, at least it looks like these shrimp are cooked. On the bright side. We're being attacked by shrimp who have been cooked and who have been seeking vengeance on their human cookers. So it's us who is paying the price at the scene. I'm okay with this, though, because they give okay money. And like I said, I have a feeling we're going to have to pay to be able to get the stuff we need. Oh, good lord. Okay. That's a scary sprite. Oh, jeez. Please don't kill me, octopus. Oh, god. I still haven't seen even an attack by one of these guys is going to do. Okay, it was only 6 HP. I was expecting it to be way worse. This guy's so big! By his bigness, you would have assumed it would do much more damage than this. My goodness. <gasps> Are you for real? Oh, please tell me no one died. Holy crap. Okay, we gotta do some more healing. Oh no, we don't have very much MP left. Hopefully there's gonna be a hospital where we're going. I'm gonna save here, just in case we run into any more exploding octopi. Not that the octopus exploded, of course, but... You know, it's the sentiment behind the exploding chest that hurt the most. <laughs> Yeah, very menacing. If I ran into this guy in real life, I would run like hell. I wouldn't stand and fight it, that's for sure. Kinda looks like the alien from Alien. A little bit. Not as, like, long, footballish head, of course, but there's some resemblance there. Let's see. What do you got for me this time, buddy? Where the hell is this town and why is it past a bunch of treacherous octopi? What is this, octopus land now? This is like how I felt that time that we had to fight... What was it that we were fighting constantly? Well, there were the swarms at first, but... There was another fight we kept having over and over again. Can't remember now. But yeah, it's just like there's this huge congregation of these enemies on this beach. Hello. Oh, look at this guy. He's so happy. Hey, friend. This town is called Lower. We have been in decline thanks to the work of Lassic. Alright, so maybe some allies here. Do you know about Lierma trees? No. They grow on the Antiplano Plateau on the planet Dezorus. There is a village called Abion on the western edge on this island. Okay, so maybe that's where we need to go. Have you heard of a gem called the Amber Eye? Some say the Kazpa dragon has one. Okay. Suddenly I'm plummeted into that Rock the Kazpa song. Stupid game. Earworming me. 
You are going to try to kill Lassig, I hear. That's great. I have heard that a certain crystal will block evil magic. A crystal now. Alright. Okay, this must be a shop. Oh, an armory. I'd love to buy something. Holy hell, look at this. White mantle. That's what Noah has already. Heat gun. That must be for, for friggin' Odin. Let's get that. I cannot carry anymore. <laughs> Thank you and come again. Oh, can I not sell you stuff? I'm just gonna drop all my flashlights on the floor. Oh, okay. Does he let us sell? Okay. I'm gonna drop some flashlights on the ground. Because... <laughs> well, we have so many. Okay. Just, they're ten mesitas each, so I'm assuming we're not losing too much here. I'm gonna drop three of them. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. I would love to buy something. Heat gun. I guess we can get Meow the Silver Fang as well. Alright, alright, so exciting. Okay, let's equip those. Oh my god, look at how many more flashlights we have. Holy jeez. Heat gun. Equip. Odin. Nice. I feel like we just got Meow that iron fang, but this'll do the trick. Cool. Alright, so we've got some good weaponry upgrades. So let's just save. Well, I guess what we should do is go to the hospital, actually, before we save. And then try to find Abion. I'll try that. There's gotta be something around here. Don't you shimmy at me. Is that what that dance move's called when you, like, wiggle your shoulders like that? Because that's the grossest shimmy I've ever seen in my life. 